Welcome back to the ranch, everybody. We have a chronograph test on deck this morning. About seven feet back from the table where we're gonna put the chronograph. Gonna aim at that steel right there. And as you can see, there is quite literally nothing beyond that target. The point of this chronograph test is to determine if an extra third of an inch of barrel makes a difference. We have a brand new Glock G43X MOS versus the good old Taurus GX4. Okay, these two guns are completely empty. The G43X MOS is insanely light, about 15 and one third of an ounce with nothing in it. The GX4 is actually heavier. So we'll set up the chronograph. That steel is just about 50 feet away. I've put exactly 21 rounds through that G43X so far. So hopefully that doesn't impact on our results today, but the Glock isn't even fully broken in yet. All right, and we're gonna start out with uh, light 115 grain loads. We've got Hornady Critical Defense and Barnes Tactics BD. We have those loaded up in the magazines, ready to go. Then we're going to move up to 124 grains. Here we've got that Federal Tactical HST. And then the one I'm really curious about, the Gold Dot, because I, I feel like if you, if you could coax a few more foot-pounds of energy out of that, uh, the, this could be the ultimate 9mm round. And then, of course, we've got some Underwood, my favorite manufacturer, because they're cheaper than Buffalo Boar. And these are 147 grain hard cast flat nose. Sun is down at that low November angle. And I do want to get these tests in before it comes above that tree line. First up, critical defense by Hornady. These are the 115 grain load. I'll just do the Taurus first. Review that briefly. Five shot average of 1,077 feet per second. Now, the G43X MOS. Critical defense. So just a bit higher, let's uh, get a five shot average on that. That's 1,095, not bad. All right, now let's try the uh, the Barnes TAC XPD, 115 grain. These are solid copper, of course. Taurus first again. These bullets are a little bit cold. Sun is coming through the trees. Still the diffusers ought to handle it. Uh, um, delete shot. Let's take a four shot average. Average is 1,034 feet per second for those four rounds. Not sure when to, what went on with that shot number five, but I'm not going to count it because I know Barnes is more reliable than that. Okay, that was the tour. Now five rounds of that Barnes from the G43. Five shot average is 1,093 feet per second. For that Barnes TAC XP. Now we'll go load up. Some of the rounds I'm much more interested in actually shooting, like the Federal HST, 124 grains. Okay, next up are gonna be those Federal Law Enforcement HSTs. This works perfectly well out of a three inch barrel. 
We're going to compare with the 3.4. First, the GX4. So, as you can see, those 124 grain Federal HSTs are amazing. Let's get a uh, five shot average, 1,074 feet per second. Now, let's try them out of the G43X MOS. Seven feet back for all these shots, by the way. Nothing worked on that one. We are uh, we are we are at total freeze up right now. That that's weird. Eleven twenty nine apparently. All right, I'm just gonna aim at the stick that's left. Let's go through that review a little bit. Uh, yeah, 1137, 1129, 1141, 1138, and 1148. So that's very, very consistent. High of 1148, low of 1129. Five shot average of 1138 feet per second for those 124 grain tactical HST by Federal Premium law enforcement rounds. These are actually a really inexpensive round. You can get them well under a dollar a round in boxes of 50. And they're available just about everywhere. And as you can see, they're doing a lot better out of a 3.4 inch barrel. I mean, they're obviously a law enforcement round. They're meant to be used in a full size gun. Now let's try the gold dots. I don't know what I did to my, uh, to my steel down here. <laughs> the bolt just loosened up and fell off, I guess. Delete that string. And then we will move on to the gold dots. This, this I think, personally, is the one I am the most interested in. And yeah, the sun is really coming through those treetops pretty hard right now, but I think the diffusers can still handle it. Uh, let's try the GX4 first. The spear gold dots. All those have a lot of power. Round number five, 1120. Okay, four was 1137, three was 1129, two was 1130, one was 1182. Uh, five shot average of 1139 feet per second. I have tested these out of the GX4 before. So we got gold dot, short barrel personal protection out of the 3.42 inch barrel of the G43XMOS. Duplicate of 1183. You know what? I'm probably, I'm likely to accept that at this point because close enough. What do we get here? We had a high of 1187, a low of 1177, and a five shot average of 1183 feet per second. And I've got a couple rounds left. So let's just see how they do if we can. If we can get some more readings on these. No. 11.82. I mean, that's it. I have now used up my stockpile of gold dots. But those are definitely coming out hotter 
with the extra one third inch of barrel of the G43X versus the Taurus GX4. I like it. I like it so far. We're doing well. For the last round, we're doing 147 grain hard cast flat nose by Underwood. And I've loaded six rounds in each of these. Try to get this to where you can both see it and I can get accurate readings and I can hit the steel. And round number six, 1177. Well, we managed to get readings off of every single one of those. Let's review that string. High of 1114, low of 1049, six shot average, 1074 feet per second out of the GX4. Now we try them out of the 43X MOS. Those bullets going that six shot average okay we, that time we had a high of 1108 a low of 1062 and a five shot average of 1090 so uh sky conditions batteries and my marksmanship excluded we're definitely getting higher velocities out of the g43x overall than out of the GX4. So that extra third of an inch of barrel is actually making a difference. So there's our chronograph test of these five rounds out of these two guns for comparison's sake. And yes, we do see a ballistic advantage of the extra three tenths, four tenths, 36 one hundredths of an inch of barrel length consistently across all weights from 115 all the way up to 147 grains. Although the advantage is probably most accentuated right in that 124 grain sweet spot. Thanks folks. This is Dave from Discrete Defense Ranch. Have another great week.